So now we will see like admin preferences in Primavera P6. For that, I'm just going for admin, admin preferences. And in this, we can able to choose whatever we want here. And for that, we have general in first. In general, what we have, we will see. Like we have code separator. So specify the character for separating concatenated codes. It is also the default WBS code separator for new projects. So this code separator, uh, it is by default, it is like a dot. So that's why we have like a so in WBS, we have this one, A1.1. Here, this point is the code separator. So if you want to change that to something else, we can able to do that. So I'm just going to close everything. So now I'm just going for uh, admin preferences. And here I'm just going to put plus. So plus is my code separator. And I'm just going to close it and it will be applicable to the new projects that we are going to create. So I'm just going for enterprise projects and I'm just going for a new project. So I'm just going to create a WPS for this. So the new project where we have created this one now, now I'm just going to open it. Once you open and then we can able to go for WPS. Now we can just go for adding it. Now can you able to see that here the code separator is plus. This is what the code separator is. That is applicable only to the new projects. It won't update the old projects. So we can able to just go for dot itself. And after closing, it won't update. So once you are going for a new project, then it will be updated. So here I'm just putting finish. Open project. Now in WBS, if I am just going to create a new one, see now here it is coming as 1.1, 1.1.1 like that. And also we have starting day of a week. So specify the starting day of the week for calendars. So first day of week, if you want something else, you can able to choose from this seven weeks. So I'm just going for a enterprise calendars. And here I'm just going to click some calendar. I'm just going for modify. Here the starting on Sunday and ending on Saturday. Now I am just going for admin, admin preferences and here I am just going for specify the starting day and I am just going to put a Monday and after I am closing so it got updated now I am just going for enterprise calendar and here I am just going for modify now we can able to see that Monday is our starting day so this is what it is and again I am just going for admin, admin preferences and here first day of week I am just going to select Sunday itself and after closing it will get updated in our projects. So we can verify it in calendar, modify, we can able to see now Sunday is our starting uh, day of the week. Now I'm just going for admin preferences and uh, in activity duration and I'm just going for specify the default duration for new activity. So by default it is having five days. So that's why we are getting default as four days here. Uh, for example, any project for this project, I'm just going to open and after I'm just going to have activity. For this activity, by default, it is taking four days duration. Okay, if you want to change this to something else, you can change. 
so for example i'm just going to put a default duration as 10 and after closing and i'm just going for a see now we are getting eight days so if you want to put something like this you can able to put there and i'm just going to put 12 and we will see what we are getting so we are getting 10 so if you want to get something like this you can able to get there now i am just going back it is 10 only it is coming admin admin preferences and the default duration i am just going to put 1 and i am just going to put close now i am just going for new activity now we can able to get the, the default duration 1 but here why it is not coming when you are putting 10 it is coming as 8, 8 day duration because of the holidays in between and when you are putting 12 here it is coming like 10 because of the holidays so that's why we can able to choose default days from 1 to 5 if you want now i am just going for admin admin preferences and here i am just going for 2 and after i am closing now i am just going for plus now we can able to see our default duration coming as two days so this is what it is and password policy the password policy requires a minimum length of eight characters and at least one number and one letter in a user's password so this is common na? like we are using for our uh, email ids and everything so if you want you can able to like enable password policy if you don't want you can uncheck it so now we have seen this general 